Thank you, Jennifer. Well, this week, Jennifer finishes her conversation with Russ Thomas. Now, as you first heard in last week's show, it was an unexpected tree trimming incident that led to multiple surgeries and eventually the amputation of Russ's leg. What followed was an unexpected addiction to painkillers, which almost led to the point of Russ committing a crime to feed that addiction. Well, that's when Jesus stepped in. It's now been 10 years since Russ found freedom from that addiction. Here now is the rest of his story. And here we are sitting here today. And you don't have a leg. Right. You can see that at home. He's got the cross on there. Mm -hmm. um, but in that 10 years of time, God has done some pretty incredible things, probably because of all of this that you went through. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing that he's been able to get me to do is submit to him. That's the mm -hmm. most difficult part of this whole process. And, but through that submission, is where the strength comes from. That's what's amazing is um, when, I, when I minister to folks now, I use the same recipe that he taught me is I don't tell people what they need to be doing. That's the Holy Spirit's job. What I do is, is, is convince them to draw nearer to him through his word, through prayer, through study, through community with other believers, and his spirit will convict you on what needs to be removed from your life. Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't change me for who I was. He, didn't, he, he made me to be who I am so that I'll always stay who I am, my character, who I am. But what he did was he just basically transformed me into what he wants me to be by removing the things that he doesn't want and then um, the things that he wanted me to keep, he just enhanced. My pastor was Neil Whitney and he described it like this to me one day and I finally got it and I still use this today to, to minister to other men. He said, before you were in Christ, you were a stallion, running around doing whatever and whoever you wanted to do. And he said, through that process of transformation, he still wants you to be that stallion, but now you have a bit in your mouth and the reins are being controlled mm -hmm. by the master. That was so powerful that I got that from him. And um, God doesn't want to change who you are. He just wants to transform your life to be more about the kingdom agenda than what we were before. I'm still who I've always been, but it's just I have a different mission now. Well, speaking of that mission, Rush, I'm sure you would say this isn't about you at all, but mm -hmm. it incre it's amazing to me to see how God has restored so much, and he's now using you, in essence, to minister to people who were probably or are, once were or are in that situation you were in. You are the pastor of the gathering place, and you are working for Job and Family Services, helping people get back on their feet, get into jobs. Um, God is using you in just incredible ways. Well, once again, the magical number three plays into this because um, I left my previous employer and it was three months. Once again, the number three. Um, Mike Schoenhofer, um, I've been friends with Mike through Celebrate Recovery. And there was a position open at Coleman. And Coleman is incredible because one of the requirements of this position was that you were a reformed, recovered addict. Mm. They're just great at doing this because what Coleman understands is, is they'll take what you consider trials, they look at as training. And if, if you've had a certain period of recovery, they know that you'll use that. And that's how God uses it too. I look now back at that worst night of my life was training because now I fall back on that. Every time I start to work with another addict, I fall back on that and know the torture that I was going through. So I consider that training now, the amputation. Um, I'm a peer counselor with CAST Ministries. CAST stands for Christian Amputee Support Team. And what we do is we peer counsel people, but it's, it's through Christ. We peer, peer counsel folks to uh, know that if they're gonna lose a limb or have lost a limb, that your life's not over. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ. Woody Thornton is the head of this out of Alabama. He's missing both legs below the knee and he's got an incredible testimony. But through the peer counseling, um, through my own ministry, ministering to folks with addiction, job and family services, um, I'm, I'm a work experience liaison person there. What I do is a lot of people don't realize that um, people who draw benefits, food stamps and things, um, if, if they don't meet the criteria to be eliminated from the program um, or exempt from participating in the program, they are required to work so many hours for their food stamps. 
So what they hired me to do is my job is to find nonprofit sites for them to work at and at the same time assist them in working through whatever their barriers are to employment. So we develop a relationship first. Mm -hmm. Then we find out what their barriers are to employment. It may be addiction, a felony conviction, it could be a sex offense, transportation or childcare. Somewhere there's a reason they're not working. We gotta find out what that reason is and then use all the resources in our community. There's many resources to help assist these folks when we've got a good, Lima's got a great community for mm -hmm. assistance. And we work through those barriers and help them gain and then retain employment. So it's a combination of my ministry and my work. They just go really well together. God knows all the places where you're needed. Yes. And then finally, you do have this church called The Gathering Place. If we have viewers at home that are saying, this is me or my family member is, is affected by the same type of story that we heard from you, Russ, um, and they want to find you and talk to you, is this a, is this a place where they can go yeah, to find you? Yeah, um, our, focus, our focus at The Gathering Place is strength through trials. That's kind of what we do is we, we God, God leads people to us who are, who are at the foundation of their, of their recovery or at the, at the height of their, of their um, misery. And um, it's not what you would call a churchy church. Uh, we use God's word. We use a lot of prayer. Thursday nights we have a, what's called a praise prayer service. We have a band that plays and uh, we just play a few songs and let the Holy Spirit lead it. And we have a lot of folks come forward for prayer and anointing and we're there sometimes three to four hours praying with folks who are just in the misery of their life. And we don't teach them that we can heal them. The condition that, that, that has to be met is if, if, if you're not willing to submit to God's word and his will, then we're not the church to help you because we don't have the school training, uh, the secular training that a psychiatr psychiatrists and psychologists have. And there's many um, spiritual psychologists that, that out there that, that could help you, but we're not geared that way. We're geared through trials. And if you're, if you're ready to seek Christ and his word, then, then we can assist you. If mm -hmm. not, we're gonna refer you to someone who actually has that background in schooling because we don't. Mm -hmm. we're, we're about experience. We're about leading you to the foot of the cross. We know the path there, but other than that, I can't fix you. So <laughs> Only Jesus can do only the Only Jesus can do that. We're seeing a lot of growth. We're seeing a lot of transformed lives, and it's only through prayer and his word that it's happening. Uh, we have to stay continually submitting to that, or uh, you know, as Paul says, <laughs> we'll end up like Paul was worried we would end up, so we, we seek that. <laughs> well, Russ Thomas, talk about transformed lives. Thank you for sharing your transformed life with us. I'm sorry that the leg accident happened, but it is incredible to see how God is using it. Yeah, um, I never used to run until this happened. And I, I believe that um, one of the reasons that I like to run, I don't run as much as I used to, but I ran a lot of 5Ks and I've got one of those blade feet to run with. And, and uh, to me, um, this, this happened, it's straight from the enemy. I don't blame God for this. I, I, I give God credit for where it's come from. But um, when I run, it's, it's my way and God's way of shoving it in Satan's face. And that's mm -hmm. what I do when I run. I have that mentality of uh, this is for you, God, and I'm taking it away from him. And um, then uh, God is also, I just love his word. I can't dig into his word deep enough. And I built myself a, a peg leg a wooden peg leg. My prosthetist was worried at this point because he was afraid I was gonna break my good leg walking on this mm -hmm. peg leg. But I built a wooden peg leg and uh, I really love doing this and it's a blessing to be able to do it. But I dress up as a peg leg pirate <laughs> and I'll go to children's youth groups at churches and I'll tell the story of Jonah as if I was an evil pirate in Nineveh and tell what it was like to live there before Jonah preached the word and then tell what it was like uh -huh. after he preached the word. So it's, it's a lot of fun because as a pirate, you can be who you wanna be. You don't have to be yourself. <laughs> What a great amount of stories and what an incredible testimony. Russ Thomas, thank you so much for sharing. Thanks for having me. Appreciate uh, the restoration story of what God has done and God is still doing in your life and all of the lives around you. Amen. For more information about Russ's church, that is again called The Gathering Place. The address is right there on the screen. You are more than welcome to join them for a service Sunday morning or that Thursday evening prayer service. Again, Russ Thomas, incredible testimony story. Don't forget, it doesn't matter what's happening in your life. If the devil meant it for evil, God can use it for good, and that good can do amazing things.